Good morning, gentlemen. This is part two of my video. It's a very nice Saturday, the 4th of April, nice and sunny. And uh, so we're back into the, uh, the wood project. So right now what I'm going to do is install the spike into the wood. So uh, I'm going to get a closer view on the camera. All right. Stay along. Uh, thank you kindly for all the nice comments, so uh, keep up the good work guys, and uh, stay safe and sound. So now, I'm going to install the spike. So the spike, you need to be installed right in the middle of the wood. So uh, I'm going to drill with my uh, gift that Joe gave to me, the electrical uh, portable drill. So that's it, stay along! <laughs> No, I don't have coronavirus. It's all the dust from yesterday. Noisy sometimes. All right, I'm going to see Jay's video and uh, Joe also sent me a link. I do not remember why I put the pivot point there after the hook or before. So I'm going to back to the house and look at that. All right, guys. Cheers. All right, gentlemen. So. Uh, for the installation of the rod, uh, Jay had added right there, and uh, on the website uh, log ox, they added between the midpoint from there to there, right in the middle. So, uh, to uh, for me, since it's a very old steel, I'm gonna reinforce it, and I'm gonna put it in the middle, and I think it's gonna be better for a pike. It's gonna be better for a pivot point. So uh, I'm going from uh, wood to steel, wood to steel, wood to steel. That remind me something. I just wood to steel. Hmm. I don't know. All right. <laughs> Hello, Joe. All right. So let's do that. This is high carbon steel, I can tell. It's hard, it's tough to cut.
So a little bit less there and a bit more there. Time for dinner. I shall be back. <laughs> Everything is falling apart. So I put a plate to uh, reinforce. You can see my welding there. And on the other side there. I'm gonna clean it also, and I'm gonna uh, uh, add a little teeth right in here like this to have a better uh, bite at the wood. And there. All right, gentlemen. So I put the teeth like uh, on Jay's website. So the wood is gonna be held on two, like squeeze between the teeth. Woohoo! That thing is warm. I put a a metal plate like that to reinforce for the long steel bar. All right. So now it looks. Now I'm gonna. Uh, I'm going to put some uh, clean up my table and doing some clean up. All right, cheers.
All right, guys, gentlemen, you can see the view of my new uh, logging. Jeez, I forgot the name of uh, what the Joe told me. Uh, so uh, I get the pivot point, I get you reinforcing. Oh, I'm gonna make a close view. So you, you all see that uh, reinforcing there. I put the teeth so the, uh, the wood will have a better uh, bite. I did a small spot welding there so I don't lose the spike. It went very really good, too good. I, it's tight, but uh, that way it's an uh, insurance policy and it's easy to grind off. And uh, now it's time to uh, clean up my garage. I'm not gonna do a video about that. You see me too often cleaning the garage. And then uh, perhaps I will do some <coughs> painting. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, stay on guys, cheers! Good afternoon, gentlemen. So this is my uh, log hook. <laughs> so you can see uh, this is a full steel bar with a little tube at the end, so it doesn't go too far in the ground. I reinforced the steel bar with the plate here. I installed the tooth. I weld also the spike into the tooth into there. It's very easily removable. I didn't want to lose the spike, so the the log will be old by the two teeth there. And I painted my famous color. <laughs> All right, so uh, it's very nice outside. And uh, again, thank you kindly for everyone who support. And uh, have a good one. Thank you, Jay. And uh, bonjour, mes amis. Cheers.